Hello everyone, today I'm releasing version 4 of my best seamless transition pack. This transition pack has 400 plus elements which includes transitions, LUT presets, motion graphics and title presets. These are very amazing and cool seamless transitions. You can easily use these transition over your video, just drag and drop and you are good to go. So if you are using the old default transitions then stop using them and try this best seamless transition pack and take your videos to the next level. With the latest update version 4, this transition pack now includes classic zoom transitions and the warp transitions. So now let me show you how you can use this. If you are interested in checking this out, the download link is in the description section below. Right now you can get this amazing pack at huge discount. You can get up to 70% off right now and the price of this is going to be raised very soon. So make sure you get it before the price rises. So without further ado, let's dive in the Premiere Pro and let me show you how you can take your videos to the next level using these best seamless transition pack. So let's get started. So inside the Premiere Pro, you can see I have this sequence and now I'm going to apply this transitions on this sequence. The first thing which you need to do is one disable this insert and overwrite sequence or as nested so make sure this is grayed out and then second thing which you need to do is just disable the video track one okay make sure you disable both of these and only then this is going to work all right these are the two requirements which you need to fulfill and now after downloading you will get a zip file something like this and you need to extract it and ex after extracting you will get this folder and inside this folder you will have this premiere pro project so this project works with the premiere pro 2018 and above versions all right so now you need to just open it and now it's going to ask you that this project needs to be converted so you just provide the location where you want to just have a copy of it so i'll just select the another folder and press ok and once this project is opened you will see this folder all right so if you don't see something like this make sure you click on the list view you might see the the folders this way but you need to click on this list view so over here you will see all these transitions so it has the glitch transitions it has the light leaks it has the pan transitions shake uh, shake transitions spin transitions stretch and zoom transitions trippy transition warp transition zoom version 3 and zoom version 2 this is the old version all right and this is the folder which you don't need to open because it has some assets all right so now let me show you the latest update or the latest transition which i have added with this one so this is the zoom so i'll just double click on this and this is going to launch in a new tab and over here you have let's me click on the list view once again and here we have the transitions for 1080 pixels and we have the same for the vertical resolution so 1080 by 1920 and we have the 4k 4k option of this one so one is the normal horizontal for 38 by 3840 by 2160 and 2140 by 38 by 60 all right so you can choose this according to your 
sequence so in this case my sequence is 1920 by 1080 so i'll just select this one 1920 by 1080 this will and just open it and inside it you will see if you don't see the, the these previews make sure you click on the icon view and that way you will be able to browse the preview you can increase the size of the preview from here with this slider okay and now if you just hover your mouse over these transition you will see the preview so how this transition would look okay before you apply on your videos so once again make sure you deselect this so make sure this is not selected this insert sequence as nested so make sure this is grayed out and then you need to disable the track one okay so if track one or make sure you have all other tracks but the video track one is enabled make sure you disable it and now move your playhead on the cut or the edit point of two clips where one clip ends and the other starts all right now simply just click and drag and drop in the cut okay in the center of the cut if it is not over here so make sure you drag this between the cut of two clips all right and if you just play it all right so this is how it looks now let me show you the another one just drag and drop it right over here make sure this is on the center of the cut and now if you just play it okay this is how it looks now let me show you the another one like this one so simple zoom in fast so i'll drag and drop it right over here and play it you can see this is how it looks now let's try another one and let's play it okay so now let me show you another one this is the simple zoom out just drag and drop and let's play it okay this is how it looks let's try this one zoom, simple zoom out fast or simple zoom out left so if you drag it right over here and let's play it sometimes you might not be able to see the preview because sometimes you need to render this in and out point to see the preview because this is a little heavy some of the transitions are little heavy let me lower down my resolution to one fourth playback resolution and now let's play it okay this is how it looks all right so now let me show you the wrap transitions so let's go to the back to the seamless transition pack and choose this warp transitions and open it and select the 1920 by 1080 and select this icon view to see the preview and now let me just drag and drop over my videos so let's say this one so i'll just drag and drop right over here and this warp transition also has include the sfx so if you just play it okay this is how it looks all right and let's try this drop transition warp transition left and play it okay and let's see this one warp transition let's drag and rope and let's play it okay and similarly there are different transitions as well so let me show you the preview of all of these so this one looks like this okay and this one goes up in the right side and this one goes up in the left side okay and this one goes down left side and this one goes down right side this one goes up okay and this one goes down and this one goes left and this one goes right all right so this was the latest update and uh, this was the warp transition and these were the zoom transitions which have been added 
So let me show you full screen. Okay. So this one just goes something like this. Okay. This one goes something like this. And this one like this. And this one. And when you will apply all of these, you will see the final result. And sometimes you have to render out in and out points. So for that purpose, you can press I on your keyboard and O for the out point. And then you need to go to the sequence and then select render into out. Okay. And that way, this portion of the transition would be rendered and you would be able to see the exact preview. So this was the latest update of the best seamless transition pack version 4.0 and if you have not downloaded it please get it before the price is raised so make sure you download it right now you can get this transition pack at 70 percent off and with this transition pack you what you will get you will get lifetime update you will get commercial license to use this for unlimited number of projects unlike other transitions pack which only allows you to use them in only one and products but with by this pack you can use this in unlimited number of projects and you will get free lifetime update and i am going to add more and more cool transitions to this pack as well all right you will get the free LUTs which inside it you will get my motion graphics with this as well all right so it's a complete bundle which has at this moment 400 plus elements so make sure you get this before it's too late otherwise you have to pay the higher price so make sure you download this the download link is in the description section below and if you have any question please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to share this video so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next video till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you bye bye